How did you get along with the ultimate warrior behind the scenes? I knew Jim when he first started. He was in Atlanta. He was going through chiropractic school there. And we ran into him uh, in the gym periodically. He was starting to get into uh, wrestling. And I think he and Sting went to uh, uh, Mid-South for Watts. Uh, he was a different guy when I saw him later. And I won't speak ill of the dead, but he wasn't the same guy. Uh, I don't think he liked wrestling. He knew he was making good money at it. I don't think he respected it. Uh, but I never had any harsh words with him. I never had any disagreements with him. But I used to observe sometimes we would do signings and appearances, and he wanted to isolate himself. He didn't want to be around the rest of us like we had some kind of a disease. So that's my only qualms with him. How was he in the ring? Because I know you also had some matches against him. There again, it was tough. It's like pulling teeth. He had three moves, run to the ring, shake the ropes, clothesline. Um, I don't think he was interested in learning. I don't think he thought he had to learn anything. Hogan would learn. Hogan improved drastically from when I first saw Hogan in the Georgia Territory when he was in there as Terry Boulder uh, to when he became Hulk Hogan. Uh, and it's not like I'm bashing Jim. If, if Jim was sitting here right now, I'd tell him the same thing. We had horrible matches with him. And he wasn't interested in having a good match. He was interested in Ultimate Warrior. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. And click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.